Welcome to Vatican 6. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. Sonia Khan was killed in River North back in July. WGN's John Lewis has details on the lawsuit. Well, Sonia Khan's story is known around the world. She was an avid photographer and had gone viral on TikTok, documenting her journey getting out of an abusive marriage. That journey ended, though, tragically in July when her estranged husband was able to get into her Streeterville apartments. It's security video from inside Sonia Khan's apartment building. Lawyers for Khan's family pointing to this man, bypassing security in the lobby, saying it is Khan's estranged husband, Raheel Ahmad, the day of Khan's murder, July 18th. Sonia Khan made TikTok videos about the stigma around divorce in the South Asian community. She documented her journey online of getting out of an abusive marriage. Sonia shared her story with the public in hopes of giving strength and voices to those that did not come forward. The couple married in June 2021, moving to Chicago. And by February of this year, she had filed for divorce after a failed attempt by Ahmad to kill them both in December. She personally told the management employees that under no circumstances should, should Ahmed be allowed into the building because again, she feared for her safety. She was a very, very loving daughter. We shared a very special bond. Khan's mother today saying that she supported her daughter's decision for divorce. In a lawsuit filed today, attorneys for Khan's family alleged negligence by the building's management and a security firm. The complaint alleging that Ahmad posed as a potential renter to get into that building. And after having seen just one apartment, it's alleged that Ahmad told the leasing agent he was going to see friends in the building and was allowed to do so on his own. The defendants let Ahmed walk right through the door past security to a secured area of the residential apartments without even presenting an ID. Carrying a backpack and a garment bag in his hands containing Khan's wedding dress, according to the lawsuit, Ahmad is in the elevator alone and exits finally on the 28th floor where Khan lived. He knocked on the door and eventually shot and killed her and then himself. And knowing that he killed her after you know, going from out of that elevator is the hardest thing. <sighs> For the family, it is grief leading to this lawsuit and, they say, accountability. I'm not going to get my daughter back, but I need justice for her. And I really feel that if they had followed the protocols that day, my daughter would have been alive. We did reach out to the building's management company for comment. They have not yet gotten back to us. The security company named in this particular lawsuit says it has no record of ever having provided security at this particular apartment building. In Streeterville, Sean Lewis, WGN News. Well, Rabbi Shazia Khan says her daughter went to great lengths to inform building management and security that her estranged husband should not be allowed in the building because he was a security threat. Yet last summer, he was able to slip by security and gain access to various floors with a building rental agent. Just a few minutes after Rahil Ahmad is seen getting off the 28th floor of a Streeterville apartment building, police say the 36-year-old shoots to death his estranged wife, Sonia Khan, before turning the gun on himself. Knowing that he killed her after, you know, going from out of that elevator, it's the hardest thing. 28-year-old Sonia was Shazia Khan's firstborn. Khan believes her daughter would be alive today if building management and security at 211 East Ohio Street followed apartment building protocols. If they had run her, her, his name through the system somehow and they would find out that, you know, he was not allowed in there and my, my daughter would be alive. Sonia, a Pakistani-American photographer, had moved to Chicago in 2021 with her then-husband, Rahil Ahmad. A few months later, their relationship unraveled. Sonia accused Ahmad of spousal abuse. She spent the last few months of her life sharing her story on social media, hoping to give a voice to other Muslim women afraid to speak up. Sonia also filed for divorce and took steps to keep Ahmad away from her apartment building. She personally told the management employees that under no circumstances should should Ahmed be allowed into the building because again she feared for her safety. 
But on July 18th, Ahmad was allowed in the building. Video obtained by the law firm Taxman Murray, Pollock and Beckerman shows Ahmad entered a secure area with a rental agent without his ID being checked. According to a lawsuit filed against building management and security, Ahmad was carrying with him a garment bag containing Sonia's wedding dress and a backpack with a gun. He eventually left the rental agent and made his way to Sonia's apartment where he broke in and killed her. Losing a child is the hardest thing that I have gone through and I have to live with that for the rest of my life just because of their negligence. At first, Sajnia Khan says she was hesitant to file a lawsuit, but she felt it was the only way to get justice for her daughter. So far, the building management company, First Service Residential Illinois. Let's talk about it. I think what we have here is a woman who comes from the same culture, same ethnicity as him, but she's more modernized than what he is. He's more traditional. I think he tried to push those traditional values surrounding their culture onto her. Some of the things she probably was willing to take and others she wasn't. So she decided to divorce him. He couldn't take that. And that was a huge leap for her because divorce is shunned upon in their culture. He took it the same way. He couldn't take that disrespect as he took it, as he seen it. So since she wouldn't come around and he was embarrassed because he wasn't man enough to change for her and he was going to be shunned upon, he decided to kill both of them. Condolences to her family. This is a very sad situation. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Thank you for watching, and I'm gone.